Hello, welcome to another video from Den Show and Indai. Hope you're all keeping well. Today we're doing a little vlog again from a stay we're having in the Premier Inn. We've done a couple of these before at least, but this one we haven't stayed at. It's in Bournemouth East, I believe is the title of the Premier Inn. Um, we'll just do a little walk around the room and then we'll tell you how we got here and things like that. Let's have a look, make sure it's all nice and clean. It looks clean at first glance. We've got one, two, two towels. Oh, is that the bath mat? Yeah. Just pause back. There we've got the choice of a bath or shower. As I said before, or I think in another video it's useful, some people prefer a bar, some people prefer that. But this time it looks like we've got, what have we got there? We've got Bayliss and Harding, white tea and Nairobi with vitamin E, luxury hair and body wash, luxury, oh, now that good. sounds good. So here we've got, oh, we've got this one, this is Bayliss and Harding again, white tea and Nairobi with vitamin luxury hand wash, so we're in a luxury. Can't beat a bit of luxury, I always think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> There's the sink. It's it's looks very clean. Looks clean. What's your test on the? Do you look under there? Sparkly. Sparkly. Tiny little bit underneath, but I suppose you're going to get that on. Yeah. There's bin. the bin. Make sure the bin's empty. Yeah. yeah. Small bin. They always have very small bins. Whether that's because they don't want boxes. The toilet has been cleaned. Yeah. Looks of it has a toilet blue in it. And then Got plenty the of toilet paper. It's got an extractor fan, I think, which yeah. I guess will come on at some point. Overhead inset the lights. So that's the bathroom. Let's just have a look at the front door there. To actually get the lights to work, you need to put your card in the yeah. key holder there. Um, so when you arrive and you've checked in, you get given one of these key cards. That needs to go in there. If it, it's not in there, you won't get anything. I did this hold for coats or? Yeah, this one's got where you can put your coats, jackets, but as the temperature's quite yeah. nice. At the moment, we won't need that. Is nice a mirror, size of mirror, which you can see me in again. I'm trying to avoid, trying to avoid being in it, but can't be helped. Did us hair dryer. Hair dryer. A couple of electric points. Um, what have we got here? Six. Six hangers. Six hangers. Six hangers. And spare. Yeah, no, spare towel. Is there a spare towel? Yeah, the one. Oh, no. Well, that's all right. Yeah. We'll make use of that. This is just nothing here. That's just storage. Uh, Quite nice size of mirror. Yeah, nice mirror. I'm in it again. Well, we're both in it. Mm -hmm. Nice mirror. Again, full size mirror. So something. Yeah, very like nice. Yeah. Um, very useful. And this lampshade. Lampshade. Very stylish. And I think this is quite a new Premier Inn. I've yeah. been told it's probably only been built in the last yeah, two or three yeah. years. And this. I just the size of the TV too. Though yes. Maybe. Yeah. The TV. It's bigger than the last couple of ones we've stayed in. Yeah. So. The one chair for you. Fed to back. Yeah. They've always got this nice table again, it's got two power points, it's got USB uh, connection there, kettle, two cups, two glasses, I what have we got, four milk. milks, sort of a small tea, number of coffee, tea, coffee, milk, yeah, we'll probably have to get some more tea, we'll have to ask and a few more. And they provide you with this menu, in case you ask for it. There we go, something for everyone. Inside, there is an example of breakfast. Uh, the unlimited continental is seven ninety nine, or unlimited cooked is nine pounds ninety nine. We've gone for the unlimited cooked at nine ninety nine. Um, it's two pound more, but for that you can pretty much choose whatever you want, and they do the cooked stuff as yeah. well. We didn't go for a dinner because, as we're staying down here, we'll probably be going out for evenings and not yeah. having to want to come back for dinner here. Yeah. But you can see they get breakfast, two course dinner, and a drink for twenty four ninety nine per person, and for that you get two courses from the main menu: a drink and unlimited breakfast. And you can add a third course to your dinner for two pounds extra. Um, there, they've got a special mm -hmm. deal on kids, and they have a bar as well that you can buy some drinks in. So that's and that. There's Very small bin again. So I mean, if you did bring stuff back to your room, you probably want yeah. a bigger bin than that. But there's the bed. The bed, double bed we've got on this one. They've actually got um, light switches by the side of the bed. Got individual lights as well, mm. and again a PowerPoint on each side of the bed. And the nice paintings in the wall. It does, it has the three, the three paintings, which does brighten it up. And the colours are purple, which fits in kind of with the... And then this is the sofa. This is like a chaise lounge, chaise lounge, chaise lounge. 
There's a view. Uh, nice view, sorry. Uh, unusual views, lots of sort of debris and things, waste. And buildings. <laughs> and buildings. And it's not a sea view. But then we didn't pay for a room with a sea view. And they don't advertise it as a sea view. So you get what you pay for. Oh. But that's done. But the outside of it looks unusual. We, what we'll do is we'll do a. Yeah. I want to show you the outside as well. It's, it's kind of more glass and construction with steel, I guess, they've yeah. used rather than the brick that usually. Um, so it's quite nice. And it's about 10 to 15 minutes walk from Bournemouth Central train station. So you don't need to get a taxi if you're anyway reasonably ad athletic or agile. And you haven't got too much luggage, you can walk about quite easily. The roads are easy enough. And so there we go. What we'll do is, like I said, we'll show you the outside as well. And we'll go a little walk from the hotel into the main area in Bournemouth as well, just so. I think you can walk actually to the seafront probably in a 25, 30 minute walk, but there are buses available just at the top of the road. So that's it for now. Hello, it's Den Show. We're just gonna do a very short vlog of leaving the Premier Inn now. We've had uh, four nights here in the East Cliff in Bournemouth. We came on the Monday and we're leaving on the Friday. Um, we were in room 606 and I've got to say it was a pretty good room. Um, didn't hear any noise from anywhere. Um, I know they're not full, but um, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I, I do wear earplugs, so um, that could help as well. But um, my wife didn't hear any real noises or anything like that. Um, as I said, we're in room 606. Um, we've had our breakfast. They were really good every day. Breakfast is served Monday to Friday between half six and half ten. And on Saturday and Sunday between seven and eleven. And I do recommend that. What we'll do is we'll show you the outside as well on the way and we're going to walk to the train station which is probably about 15 minutes gentle walk so we'll do a quick surroundings as well when we get outside. There we go, so we'll just wait for the lift and here we go. Going down. Here we go, just in day. Go to zero. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. So when we check out, we just put this Going into down. a little, we just got the key card for the room, put that into a little box. And then we're done. So the key just goes in here. So there we go, all done. Right. Yeah, I'll just do there as well. So there you get a view of the bar area and the kitchen as well. So it's very nice. And you can even got order at Amazon pick up here and you've got your umbrellas there. So there we go, we've got for two pounds you can rent an umbrella, which luckily today we haven't needed. So there we go, there's the entrance to the Premier Inn. So this is the main roundabout which is just near, so it's Swithin's roundabout this one's called. Straight up there, you go up to Boscombe, area of Bournemouth, and down there you can go down to the town centre. Each of them are probably about 20-25 minutes walk, but there's a bus stop just over there, you can see a bus leaving. That'll take you into Bournemouth, and on the also you get a bus to Bournemouth as And on this side of it you have to get on, if you're going up to Boscombe and up to Christchurch, you'd have to get on, there's a bus stop just the other side of there. But we're going to do a little walk down to the rail station and we'll carry on when we get there. There's Indai waiting for me, so we'll catch you again soon. So far we're, it's taken us seven minutes to get here. And we're now pretty much at the train station. There's a sign over there. We've got a big Asda's there, so it's right next to an Asda's. Um, it's got a co-op for fuel if you're around here. And National Express also operate coaches from here into London, I know. And they probably do other venues as well. So, taking us seven minutes to get here, it's probably about another three minutes to get to the train station once we've crossed this busy road. So, if you walk quick, you could probably get here in maybe 10 minutes, I would say. If you want a nice slower pace, then 10, 15 minutes would be fine. You know, just coming up here, right outside the train station, there's plenty of taxis. Train in there, whether that's ours, I don't know. We've got loads of taxis up here. So, as you can see over there is the, you can get the buses over there as well, plenty of places. Get you into Bournemouth itself, loads of taxis, so no problem with getting anywhere you want to. No, so there you go, we've just done the video of the Premier in Eastcliff, Bournemouth. 
the room rate varies depending on what day you're going what time of year so the best advice really is to go and check the premier inn website you can't find them on any other comparison website i believe so you would need to go to premier inn their own website and just check out the prices the breakfast we went for the full breakfast which is 9.99 per person per breakfast um you can eat it, it depends what time you get up how hungry you are etc but um if you eat a nice breakfast i would say you could probably get away with a little snack in the lunchtime and then just have a meal at night we did come back to the premier inn for one of their evening meals um the food was great it all tasted very nice it was fresh um took a little while to get served in the end um i'd say probably about 40 minutes something like that from sitting down to getting your meals but um overall the food was okay we weren't in a rush to go anywhere so that was fine um the premier inn was good i think this is probably a fairly new one looking at the structure of it outside so in within inside, inside the room it was okay as well there was nothing sort of run down or anything or broken so overall i think it was um a good stay and i would recommend this premier inn it is near the train station as you've seen a bit earlier the walk as it turned out i thought it was going to take maybe 20 25 minutes but you could do it in 10 minutes if you're traveling light and you're on your own otherwise you're looking at probably 15 minutes nice easy walk there is a bus you can get down to the train station but um, if you are mobile then it's really not worth getting the bus waiting for that paying the price of that as well so location wise it's good as well for the train station bus stop just outside which will get you into either Boscombe, Bournemouth or anywhere else you want to go so and I think it's pretty good and this one when we were checking it out on the website there are other premier inns in Bournemouth and in Boscombe but this one turned out to be one of the cheapest in fact I think over three nights which we were initially going to stay it worked out probably about nearly a hundred pound for the three nights cheaper i don't know why that is um i think it's okay for where we wanted to be we could get where we wanted we can walk but there's obviously a reason but even then with that cheaper price it wasn't full at the time but overall we enjoyed our time down in bournemouth i would recommend it the weather was lovely and we hadn't been for a while so it was nice to get back there and just see if there was any real changes but pretty much stayed the same so until the next time i hope you're all keeping well be nice to each other if you like the video please hit the like button if you're not already subscribed think about subscribing we will try and do other vlogs as well maybe on hotels things like that and if you want to share the video please do if you've got any comments to make or any questions please just add that and we will get back to you other than that look after yourselves take care and stay cool in the hot weather in the uk it's bye from den show and bye from Hyundai. yeah see you again soon everyone bye for now